Elias, give us your sexy look. Go ahead. Man, come on. I don't have <laughs> any. I don't have any. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and you're here today I am with Elias. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we have something very, very cool today to do. Uh, we have, uh, we're gonna be opening some boxes, something that came in anytime, anything that comes in, man. I, I feel like a little kid at the candy store. Christmas comes early, man. <laughs> very early. So we got two things. You just quickly, what is the big, a small box, what is it? Okay, this is a Tomei Type S fuel pressure regulator. We'll leave it right there. What is this? This is going to be the new brain for my Skyline. It is the Haltech Platinum Pro ECU plug and play system. Without anything else to do, let's go ahead and get into it. Go ahead and cut it open, man. I want to let's show everybody. It. So we're going to do a uh, opening and a quick review of the item. Man, that's a nice box. That's a box cutter. Nice, it's got a brand new blade. <laughs> yeah, it works. All right, so just so that you guys know, um, mm -hmm. I overnight shipped it because, you know, I'm, I just couldn't wait anymore any longer. I just said bump it and I got the ECU. Yeah. So, hey, on a side note, it's a beautiful day in North Carolina. Look at that pretty blue sky. Really nice. Featuring Bella. Bella. Oh, yeah. Ugly Bella. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. How are you guys? Hold, 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 hold. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, I want to touch it. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Whoa. Here. Look at this. You hold it. Right there. So they're going to give you a little thank you later. Nice. All right. Show us the box. All right, you guys. So I went with Haltech. Um, as some of you guys know, you know, Haltech is one of the leading providers of ECUs for in Australia mainly because, you know, obviously Skylines are more popular down in Australia. And the majority of their cars they use hall tech systems so that is what i went with is what they mm -hmm. recommend and this is it let me see let's see let's see what the side by the size so platinum pro platinum pro packing seal so yeah it's been there all right man go ahead all right let's have go. at it all right yeah let's break the seal right here Ooh, i'm excited Oh, 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 what is that? Oh, snap. That is cool. Oh, dude. Oh, it's like a, it's like a USB. Oh, it's a USB, bro. Yeah. Oh. I have to read some instructions, make sure it's not yeah. for the, <laughs> for the oh, actual ECU. Oh, dude, that's awesome. That's super cool. Let me set this in real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, what you feel, man? I'm excited oh, dude, for I did, you. My heart's racing, man. Cause <laughs> honestly, like this is like the most important piece of the puzzle. Uh, Cause everything, everything that we're doing to the cars, I mean, you can't run it off a stock ECU. No, you no, have to run standalone. Oh um, man, oh, man, oh man. I'm excited. Ooh, ooh, boy. Let me touch. Look at ooh. that. Look at that. And that is nice. Nissan R30. 32 and 33 uh-huh for gt uh -huh. gtsts and gtr models uh -huh. you know what that's for right to be honest with you no but we'll uh -huh. find out <laughs> look at that nice very nice very clean and fun nice. fact fun fact when i was buying it apparently i had the last one in stock <laughs> so yeah. i got very lucky with that there very lucky so i i, I I'm minus order i am um, whenever mine comes in we'll be doing an opening video too but i had to wait because mine was back stock no back quarter i'm sorry but set this aside look at that got the cable okay let's see i don't know what this is but it looks fancy so, <laughs> it looks like some sort of like pins okay. or something so that is probably to go right there probably yeah this right here this is probably like the pins to go in there probably yeah. all right that blue that yellow one probably right there and then we got this little guy, some sort of like a, some other connector. I think, yeah, that one will plug into here and this yeah. one right there. Yeah. That okay. will plug into there. Man, this thing is so pretty. I this mean, thing is nice. Very, very well. What if I drop it? No, yeah, you better not. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't cheap, man. <laughs> no, they ain't cheap. Look, of course, I got to add the, the decal on there. Haltech. 
Shout out to yeah. Hall Tech. You guys are the best. I love you guys. Love so, yeah, when, when I just spoke to them, they were really, really cool about the whole thing. I mean, they very, very helpful. You're absolutely right. Shout out to Hall Tech. Very, very good. Uh, good stuff. So, check this out. We got an instruction manual, start guy. Here's the uh, item number, the model mm -hmm. of the ECU in case. For any of you GTS or GTST owners that want to do the setups that we're currently doing, there's a model number in case you guys are interested. There it is. Very detailed. Oh, dude, it even comes with pictures, bro. Oh, yeah, it's got pictures. I, I can uh, yeah. it. <laughs> and it's in, like literally step by step, literally. How it shows you like on the computer and everything, the graphs. And that is like awesome. the cool thing about this ECU, um, not that so I. So you're not gonna need an adapter, right? No, no adapter. This, what, it is a plug-in play ECU. No wiring or anything like that necessary. All you gotta that do is, is awesome. take out the old ECU, plug this new one in, take it to the tuner, let them do their magic. You know. And then one of the cool things about this ECU is that, like, let's say, like, in the far, far future, right? I want to go big power with the car, right? And you know, with big power, you need. To, sometimes people do E85 this ecu is capable for e85 as well wow so very impressive really really good stuff um i'm i'm impressed i love the packaging i love the the little goodies they provided really yeah. high quality stuff i mean they do look they look really really good Not, they, i mean good quality i mean they good. sure i mean look i love the, really good. like the design and everything yeah oh That's dude nice, this man. is dude i can't wait That's nice. <laughs> All I right. like it. I love it. I love it. All right, moving on. All right, let's go to number, number two. two. Let me close this up. Number right. two. Go ahead, go for it. Let's get to it. Well, this blade is impressive. So when it comes to this item, is this is actually the same um, uh, same thing that I put on the we put on the white R33. Um, same design, same everything, same people. So. Same model and everything. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. See all that? JDM, my guys. JDM. And then another cool thing, shout out to Real Street Performance. You guys are the best as well. They're just like just like the people from Haltech, very, very knowledgeable. Knowledgeable and all I mean very helpful. Very helpful. So here it is, you guys. Mm-hmm. A Tome right. or an authentic Tomei fuel pressure regulator yep. and I say authentic because a lot of people online they make imitations of these mm -hmm. and they don't they don't do the same job so always make sure make sure you guys get like the legit stuff from really from like legit vendors like real street or hall tech check that out more stickers more stickers heck yeah oh this is gonna look good on the glass man <laughs> oh you got a white and black don't you I do uh -huh. yeah I think I'm mm. Mm, nah, nice. I'm, I'm both for them. So here's some of the AN fittings right here. Absolutely. The cool thing about it, they already got like some sort of Teflon mm -hmm. right there. It's really good, really good. So uh, one thing that you did mention uh, as far as uh, making sure you buy authentic, uh, when I purchased mine, there was a lot of people, a lot of negative reviews on it because people, I guess, you know, brought the to me but it, it wasn't the original one mm -hmm. so they were speaking on uh the, how there was a fuel leakage um on the the drain on on the return mm -hmm. but uh, it, it's not that it was a a, a, a defective a defective item or anything like that is used that when you buy knockoffs then you, you're liable to get a lot of things like that exactly. so but, but when i did mine plug it out put everything in the car turn the car on i had zero leaks because exactly. the, the, it comes ready to go you know yeah exactly. and then cool thing better if you guys like we can actually show it to how it, it will look like potentially in the engine bay okay. as well in angel's car because so we got some more and barb fittings nice and then here it is it's you a guys. pretty color though look at this guys the real nice. deal the real deal look at that very very comes cool. with the cool little neat bracket and everything mm -hmm. uh, right it says tome brand right mm -hmm. there Really, really good stuff. Really good stuff. Let's see. Let's see, you got some more instructions. Cool little Tome card. Look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Really, really good stuff. 
We can't read Japanese, bro. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't know how to read Japanese. If any of you guys know how to read Japanese, translate this for us. <laughs> Seal Looks, of authenticity. Yeah. Seal of approval right there. Nice. Well, there you have it, you guys. The couple more things. The one thing I do like thing. about this, and uh, once we, I show you in the car, is that here, hold this. Gotcha. So you can adjust this thing, and this thing can you can um, depending on the direction without affecting the actual um, uh, how how much pressure you you're opening or closing in the oh, on the regulator. So that's, I think that is super cool. Most other. Uh, fuel pressure regulators are kind of fixed mm -hmm. and and this one you have full control of swiveling uh, any direction that you want gotcha no yeah really really good stuff both items really mm -hmm. good stuff i like i said these are just like the small little uh things that are that have left over for the car but we are closing the gap for hopefully again here in the car for the first time yeah. um let's go show yeah. them what it looks like let's, let's show the guys <laughs> where are you going Sir, where are you going? Okay, go, go. <laughs> oh, that was a drastic change. Okay. Hold it. Drop it. Mm, right there. Okay. I haven't even bolted mine up to the body. I just got to lay him right there. Let's see, right there. Um, mine came with the, the little gauge. So, I'll, I'll sh do you have yours? Or is it out there? To be honest with you, I ain't you, the no, gauge. you left the, the your pressure regulator outside? Yeah, it's outside, yeah. Okay, so this is what I was talking about, see? Mm -hmm. you, you can go in any kind of direction you want. Mm -hmm. So, it's, it looks, looks really cool. I'm gonna find it at home. It's probably more than likely gonna be right there. There you go. Let me see. Let me grab it from this end. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, but that, that's what it looks like. Looks mm. really, really cool overall. All right, let's go outside. Let me show you some. I, I bought a new set of coil packs. Are uh, they yellow? Oh, really? You stuck? You stuck? Ha <laughs> ha. Great parenting. I wonder if mine came with the gauge. Put uh, it back in the box. Yeah, it's in the box. Okay. This mm. not. So, right here, this one will come off, and uh, the little Tommy pressure regulator comes in. That's where it's supposed to go. Hmm. I guess it really didn't check. I don't know. Oh well. Anyways, we'll we'll look into that. If anything, I can just probably get one at the store. But well, regardless of the situation, I'm I'm pumped. I'm excited yeah. without a doubt. So that's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. Uh, I'm always pure. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much for watching uh, today's episode. Uh, let us know what your thoughts are on the items. Uh, very excited that the words close from the gap on both cars. The only thing I'm waiting on is the ECU to arrive so we can go get it tuned and then we'll be done. And then with Elias, it's just a lot of small things, like he said, uh, closing the gap. So with all that being said, thank you very much for watching y'all. Buckle up out there. And keep tuning. Yeah, let's go.